G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here with another episode of our playthrough of Pathfinder Kingmaker with a full party of archers. So we are back at Oleg's. We have nearly 3,000 gold in our pocket. And we've just gone and rescued Harem from Tartuccio at the ancient temple and then we also rescued Jod from the Ford. Uh, we also did the slaver, the first encounter with the slavers. Um, but we've got our money and we're going to buy our last companion or the, the last of the mercenary companions that we're going to buy. Uh, and that is going to be our dwarven ranger. So we have uh, if you remember, we've got Ranger Tony, our human ranger. We've got Soliel, our female elven ranger. We have Thazzy, our female half-orc ranger. Uh, even though she's got longbow there, I've decided that her and our dwarven ranger are both going to use heavy crossbow. So I've got a heavy crossbow for her. And we've got another one here, a masterwork one for the Dwarven Ranger. And the reason behind this is purely because finding enough good longbows will be hard. Whereas if we've spread it so that we've got three longbow rangers, because we're going to have a Kundeo as well, once we get him in chapter two. Um, so that will be Tony, a Kundeo, and Soliel, our elven ranger, they will all be longbow. And then we will have um, Thazzy and our dwarven ranger with heavy crossbow. And then Lindsay has a light crossbow and we're done. So let's order this character. Okay, we're going to use this portrait because it is a nice, obviously, female uh, dwarf with a crossbow. I also like this one as well, but she's not as obviously dwarven. I mean, she does sort of look dwarven because the, you know, the feet look a little bit big and all that stuff, but it could just be a human in really bulky armor, whereas this looks much more dwarven. Uh, Although she doesn't have a beard. And yes, I'm actually one of those people that like the joke that dwarven women have beards and that you can't actually tell. And I don't know, but uh, in Lord of the Rings, I think it was the second episode, um, there's actually a scene where they are in Rohan, I think. No, um, Helm's Deep. And they're getting ready for the battle. And... Um, Gimli, is it Gimli? Yeah, Gimli go, is putting on a coat of human chain mail as armor. And it sort of looks like he's got breasts when he's doing it. And I, I don't know whether that's deliberate or not um, to make it sort of play on the joke that uh, Dwarven, that he might actually be a woman. Because um, I know that in The Hobbit, they didn't, a lot of the dwarves in there don't, really look as dwarven-y as you really expect. Like a lot of them are not clean, not necessarily clean shaven, but well, a couple of them are, but they're supposed to be young dwarves, I guess. Uh, anyway, we are getting our last ranger. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm just going to live with that. That's perfectly fine. The charisma deficit is not going to be a big deal. I'm just not going to give her use magic device. Um, and I think that'll be fine. So we're going to give her perception. We're going to give her trickery. And then we've got two more points. Um, Soliel looks like she's got that... 
and that I'm going to give her world, law, world, and law, nature, and there we go. I think that is good enough, and we're definitely going to take point blank shot, of course, and the reptilian humanoids was what I wanted to pick here as the dwarf, as the um, favoured enemy. And let me just check the name that I was going to give her was Edelinda. Oops. There we go. Edelinda. She's also going to be chaotic good. And we shall level her up. And this is good. We've got our the last of the companions nice and early, so I don't have to worry that I'm leveling up in another um leveling up and they're not able to afford the extra companion so let's get her set up heavy crossbow we're going to leave that axe there in her hand for now uh i found this longsword plus one and gave it to fazzy as a backup weapon but we haven't done the um spider cave yet so we have got these ever-burning torches on Fazi and Soliel. Uh, Soliel will have an elven curved blade as soon as we find one. I'm not going to purchase one but once we find one I will give it to her and just keep giving her the best one that we can find and we'll just get rid of those Right, and we're all good. So I'm going to leave it here and come back when we have got a level or a good fight to show you. So be right back. Okay, we are back and we're at the Fangberry Cave. And I thought I'd bring you in because uh, the Fangberry Cave has changed uh, since the early days. You know, it used to be just this one tiny little room cave thing where you'd go in and There'd be a few spiders and and some swarms, and that would be it. But it's much, much bigger now. And I thought I'd just bring you in and quickly go through it. I don't know how well we're going to go. The one thing I am finding so far with this playthrough is that, you know, my character being the only human has one extra feat, which is rapid shot. So I'm the only one with rapid shot at the moment. And that means that, you know, Soliel, Edelina, and Thrazi all only get a single shot with their bow each round, whereas I get two shots. And that combination... And the fact that there's only five of us, not six. It's just making the making the combats seem a little bit harder. Um, and because we don't have our animal companions at the moment. Whereas when I was last... You know, my last playthrough I was doing personally, I had... At, at, right at this point in the game right now, I had two other companions at least, and they were both the... Uh, Sacred Huntsmaster. So I had two animal companions as well as, you know, this size party. The other thing I'll just really quickly point out is I've gone and set up some different secondary weapons. So Soliel has a short sword plus one at the moment. As I've said, once we find a Elven Curve Blade, she'll be using that. Um, Farsi still has the long sword plus one. But we've we've just found a masterwork dwarven or grush or grosh, however you pronounce it, for Edelinda. The problem is is that she has no strength to speak of and doesn't have two weapon um, fighting. So if I switch to this weapon, she has minus one to hit with her main hand and minus five to hit with her off hand so it's not something that we want to switch to just yet we definitely want to give her two weapon fighting to even all of that out um 
but it will still mean that you know without some sort of strength bonus she's not going to do much with that weapon but we're taking it because we can and she can use it so uh yeah let's just get rid of these monitor lizards quickly okay maybe not as quickly as i would like crit that's the other thing that i'm finding really interesting Edelinda has done two crits. Yeah, Thrazi has or Thazi has done three crits. I'm. I thought there was more than that had been done, but um, Lin Lindsay has done one. It seems like the heavy crossbowers and the crossbowers do a lot more crits because they do. They they have a higher crit chance, but it just it seemed to me like already there was many more crits in this party than I thought there was. I thought, you know, the crossbow guys had all done like two or three more crits than it tells me. So either the stats package is wrong or they haven't, uh, done, or they've, haven't done as many crits as I thought. Okay, so... Right, let's go up here and save up. Uh, actually, I'm going to save when I get inside. It's just a Fangberry Cave save, so we've got a reference for later. Okay, so first group of spiders. Gotta love the spiders. Uh, not going to turn on Inspire Courage just yet because we don't have many rounds of it. Let's concentrate on the one opponent at a time, guys. Let's keep it focused. Good. There's another one over here. I think there's a, another one down here somewhere that we'll find in a minute. Haven't found it yet. Vazi, a nice hit there. Yes, there you go. Told you. Okay, Lindsay, can you? No, you can't. Okay, that's good. Let's take out this guy. did a save against that poison. Well, I did. That was me that got attacked. I thought it was um, Salil. Right. So. So you got this little area down here. Nothing much of interest. I don't even think there's any loot down here. It's just a little part of the cave and there's this thing here that looks like a tree growing up out of the middle of it um, the next room is over here but there is this dead kobold I think that's what it's supposed to be there was there anything up this way no there wasn't okay so that's that cavern spiders in here that was a disappointing hit only one damage You're gonna if you're gonna run forward like that, mate. You're gonna be stomped on first. I come from the land of big, scary spiders. You get you get the thong first. The flip flops, as most of the world understands it. 
go. Critical hit there from Salil. Um, don't remember if there's any more loot down this way, but I always just check everything out. Ah, here's our fangberry bush. Now we have four rangers here most of them not most of whom but some of whom who definitely have law nature who's got our best law nature there we go Salil has the best law nature this shouldn't be that hard yes we did it don't want to have to worry about that again let's just make sure we've got all that room yes we've done all of that very good so you can see much bigger than it used to be. This big area here, this big area here, and then it goes here and here. So let's come into this one. And this is where the swarms start. And I haven't set up everything yet correctly to handle the swarms. So let's do that now. Uh, let's see, a couple of potions for you, a couple of potions for you, one potion for you, one potion for you, a couple of potions for you. You'll also see that I've got these scrolls of cure moderate wounds. I went and bought a whole bunch of those uh, just recently. They're going to be my main way of healing. I mean, I will, I will be using whatever potions I find, but I'm not going to buy potions. I'm just going to buy scrolls because those potions are useless. Well, not useless, but they're really expensive. That's not great. So Salil has been nauseated and Lindsay has strength decreased from the swamp poison, from the um, swarm poison. Let's do that. Uh, you can't really do much, so you're just going to stand there. I'm going to get you to throw an alchemist's flask right there, and that wiped out some of the swarm, and also... Oh no, didn't do any damage to me. That's good. Okay, I'm going to drop another potion at my feet. There we go. That's the swarm gone, but I got hit in the meantime and got some strength damage, which isn't great. Let's see if we can get these other guys taken care of fairly quickly. There we go. Um... Yeah, that was a waste of effort, wasn't it? Because the poison had already finished. Okay, so let's heal up as much as we can. Right, and we don't unfortunately have any potions to reduce that problem. So this room, I think, also has up here some dead bodies in it, but yeah, one dead body there. I think it's a reasonably decent. That's right, it's a wand of... So we have a lesser restoration potion, which, you know, we do need. We're not going to use it just yet. And we have a wand of cure moderate wounds with 14 charges in it. So we're going to give that to Lindsay. Um, but ultimately any one of us could use that. 
But Lindsay is sort of our designated healer and she's sort of in the middle of the group. So if we need to, she can uh, she can handle the healing, but we can all just use a scroll or a potion at any time and heal. Okay. Um, I really would love to get rid of my strength damage, but it's not too bad. Lindsay's the one we really have to worry about. If her strength goes down too much, she's not even going to be able to move. Um, okay. What was that splashing noise? Anyway, um, so we have a swarm there. We have, I think it's actually a dead spider there. We have one spider there, one spider there. Once we kill that swarm and these spiders, I think another swarm comes. So for now, our attention is going to be on the giant spiders until the swarms get down close. Well, actually, no. Can I get that swarm from here? No. No, I guess not. I was hoping she didn't have to move to make that throw. Can you get that swarm from here? You made a good effort. I really should have thrown, got her to throw at the swarm as well. Lindsay, you're going to have a toss at the swarm. Beautiful. So now there's another spider here, another spider here, and there's one, two swarms. We are in a situation where before long we are probably going to have to have these guys switch over to the ever-burning torches and move in to fight. Uh, Lindsay, it's the end of your go. That's fine. Let's take out that spider. We want you up into the group a little bit more. There we go. Okay, those swarms are getting close. Beautiful. We might we might be able to do this without uh, too much problem. No, you. Oh yes, yes. That's all the. I think that's all the swarms. Ooh. Strength damage to Salil. But despite that, she still does a good hit on that spider. One to go. Despite the um, poison worked its course on Salil, thankfully she resisted the last of it. We can just take out this spider before it bites anybody else. There we go. Remember rightly, that's it then. We've done this cave. And there is an orcish double X plus one. We're not going to need those torches anymore. Um, I don't. Okay, 
I was going to say, I don't really think it's worthwhile giving that longsword to anyone, but I think I'm going to give the longsword there and give the short sword to Lindsay. She's never going to use it. We'll probably end up selling it you know, within a few episodes. But for now, and let's just see how bad it is if we switch Thazzy over to her yeah, plus one, minus three. But she's got her orcish double axe. We may give her two weapon fighting later on. It might be quite a way on, but we'll give it to her eventually. Uh, and she'll be able to use that much better. Okay. Right. Well, I don't think I'm going to bore you with any of the rest of this. Uh, that may actually be the end of this episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a like and share it with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest episodes and I will see you for the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.